Okay, so I started vlogging um, on my iPad and I went to just show you in the bedroom and it just, I don't know what the fuck happened. But yeah, hi, welcome back. Just a little update. Um, what should I speak about? Oh yeah, so we're both enjoying our new jobs. It's currently Mother's Day here in the UK, so 25th, 27th of March. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Um, update. Mm -hmm. Yes, anyway, update. So, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna sneeze. Am I gonna sneeze? Apparently not. Okay, so, my eyes are all trying as is. So, yeah, um, me and Dad both got COVID about two weeks ago. We have no idea where we got it from. Um, whether his work had an outbreak <clears throat> of it and he's brought it back and gave it to me. I had all the symptoms. I was ill for like, I was still slightly ill anyway, as you could probably hear. Also meet Gerald in his little, little bin cage. <coughs> that is about like six inches deep, five inches deep by the way. But as you can see, he borrows at this end so it looks a lot lower. Um, and yeah, that's that's like a long bin cage, so it doesn't have the lid on top. And we plan on like DIYing it like a little a, a bit later when we get a bit more money and we have like the tools and everything, then we can DIY it. But he's absolutely loving it in there. Um, he's been in there for a few months now. We've also got another bin cage, we have a, li a little winter white called Desmond. Um, he's about three months old now, maybe four. <clears throat> between three and four months and yeah he's going to be about four months now and Gerald is just over a year old no he turns a year in July well May June time but we got him in July <clears throat> yeah so yeah me and Doc got Covid he had no symptoms I had all the symptoms and yeah still getting over it I still got like a bit of a cold, still got a bit of a cough, and my taste and my sense of smell isn't really like fully back yet. Um, we've kind of rearranged the living room, so if you watch my little house tour, you'll find that you know our living room has changed a bit, so. Our television used to be underneath the window and our sofa used to face the window but the back of the sofa um, kind of like split the living room and the kitchen up. I've rearranged the bedroom. Now I moved all of this by myself, king size bed and everything so our bed isn't like fully properly made but yeah so the bed used to sort of like go underneath the window and come out. <coughs> but now it's sort of like the other way and we plan on getting like a really nice um sort of like canvas up there we've seen a really nice one that we like and um, it's like a black canvas and it's like new york so we plan on getting that and then we saw a really nice one and um, sort of like a mountain with like a river or something like that, like a really nice landscape one that we plan on putting in the living room above the, um, either above the television have a nice big mirror above the sofa or the other way around. I'm not quite yet decided. We also need to get some A4 photo frames because Doug's sister, um, I bought some pictures off her Etsy page like maybe a good year and a bit ago and I'm not put them up yet just because <clears throat> you know we could either put them up here or we could have like them up like on this wall here so we so we can put stuff up on the on the walls we just need to make sure that when we take them down we fill the holes and sort of paint over it when we leave um so yeah so yeah there's that um 
what else is there? Um, oh yeah, so recently I've cut off a good, what, maybe like six different people from my life, just because, you know, their effort wasn't like reciprocated or anything. And this ranges from family members to like close friends. Um, so if you are watching this, hi, by the way. Um, you know, I mean, past like two, oh, a few years, like I I'm such an independent person, but you know, when you give your effort to someone and they don't give it back, it's like, okay, why am I putting my effort into this, you know? It's like one-sided relationships, you know, they just don't work, whether, you know, it's a proper relationship, you know, with your partner or parents or your friends or whatever. One-sided relationships just don't work. So, you know, um, Doug's family has been more like family the past almost two years than like my own family, which kind of says a lot, really. Um, so yeah, a bit of family drama. Uh, my sister, if anyone knows my sister, I and I, uh, you know, has been affected by her words. I do apologise on her behalf. I know she won't like see the wrong in what she's doing or what she has said, but as her big sister, I am absolutely disgusted. Maybe do a story time later. Who knows? But yeah. <coughs> What else? What else? Um, I don't think there's much else other than what I've just said in Shunya. Um, but yeah, enjoying my new job. Um, kind of hoping to spend more time doing YouTube now that I do have days off. But trying to find content to do. You know, what sort of content to post is a bit hard at the moment. Um, just because if me and Doug want to do something, you know, we don't have the money to do it at the moment, so we can't exactly go out and vlog, like, you know, really good content. Um, maybe tomorrow we might go out for, like, a really nice walk. Um, there's, like, like maybe, like, a 20-minute drive away. There's, like, this really nice, like, sort of, like, national park area, and it's just absolutely stunning you know, walk along like the beach and like along the coast. It looks really, really nice. Um you've got like Jurassic Coast or whatever it is like close to us anyway. Which one which might be nice to actually uh go see. Um but yeah. I don't know what else to say. Apart from Mother's Day today. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. For all you mothers out there as well, this day's for you. And Father's Day is for fathers. I know so many mothers, you know, play the role of mum and dad, but let's just keep Father's Day for fathers that are actually a father and Mother's Day for mothers, for those who are mothers. So I kind of hate the whole thing, you know, not one father on Mother's Day says Happy Mother's Day to me, but they do the other way around it's like Mother's and Father's Day and it's like just let the fathers have their day without trying to claim it like we have so many days <clears throat> where you know not like you know one day should show appreciation you know just yeah <clears throat> my, my mind's gone blank now so I'm just kind of like rambling on <clears throat> But yeah, um, I don't know what else to say other than that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Secret Labs. I need to get myself a Secret Labs chair. This is Doug's Secret Lab. See, I can just about taste that. So, COVID, if you can kindly fuck right up, that would be great. Um... But yeah, I might just try and film a couple of videos while Doug's at work. I don't know what though, that is the thing, because... What other content can I post? But anyway, I'm not going to ramble on anymore, you know. Try and get this sorted.
oh, just family group chat. <laughs> um, Doug's dad made like a WhatsApp group chat, so no one's messing in it. Um, but yeah. Keep being awesome, guys, and I shall see you in the next video.